everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to swatch and watch Paint to Dry. And we're going to start with Schmincke Horrida um, Random Grey. I think this is the first year that they've done a watercolor edition of this. They used to do it um, in their oil paints. For They've done it for a few years in their oil paints. But I think this one, the 2022 one, is the first one they did for watercolors. And because they've recently been doing lots of um, super granulating paints, this one granulates. So what I've done, you can see that here in light, I've painted out a little splotch of water there. And we're gonna start up here where it's dry. And then now we're hitting the water. I'm just gonna paint out everything that's on my brush. I'm using a number eight Da Vinci Cosmo Top Mix B, which is a mixture of um, natural and synthetic hair. I'm not quite sure what the synthetic hair is, and I'm also not sure what the natural hair is. It's not stable, I'm sure of that, because it's not that expensive. I want a little bit more up here. on my brush maybe and drop that in so we've got some movement and maybe up there a little bit stronger pigment what I'm gonna do when I'm done with painting this out if I paint a stripe down here as well I am going to zoom you in maybe a little bit more and I'm gonna start a time-lapse and then hopefully in the time lapse, we'll actually be able to see how this goes. I hope this will work because I've got a lot of colors that I want to do this with, but I have no idea if it's actually going to work. There we go, I'll swatch it out. So here we are. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit more. Or do I need to zoom you in more? I don't know. That's actually quite good, isn't it? Maybe I'll zoom you in a tiny little bit more, I don't know. But I'll certainly start the time lapse and then I'll come back and we'll have a look at the swatch. See you in a bit. So. It's been drying for 15 minutes and I think it's dry enough that there's not going to be much more movement. I hope, I do hope you can see that, you can see some movement and some granulation on the time lapse. I don't know. I have to find out. I've already filmed a few more of those with other colors and I do hope it works, but I don't know if you can see it or not. But yeah, here's the finished, finished swatch. This is actually the second time I filmed filmed this one. I did the uh, did it before, but it didn't work out too well. I think I forgot. I forgot to put it on time lapse and just filmed it normally. And I think the time lapse is gonna be, a it'll condense fifteen minutes into like fifteen seconds or something like that, or thirty seconds. I don't know. So there's actually you can actually see it, and also, yeah, other things. Never mind. But here we are. You can certainly see the color, color separation in there. You can see, and that must be ultramarine blue, French ultramarine. There's probably quite a lot of that in there because there's quite a lot of French ultramarine in the super granulating colors. And there's probably, it's so dark here, that's probably um, Mars black, black ox uh, oxide black, PBK 11. And it's either some of the browns or maybe potter's pink, I'm not entirely sure. But you can certainly see that there's quite a few different granulating colors in there. It's, it's a fun one to paint with, actually, because there's so many, so many different um, pigments in there. It's quite versatile. You can use it for quite a few things. 
I've used it like in animals and in rocks, pebbles and in a rose. So yeah, it's quite a good one. Anyway, thank you everybody for watching. If you want to see which other colors I've swatched and watched dry, please subscribe to the channel if you like. If you like the video, please give me a like as well because I'm just starting out and it's gonna be slow, I guess, but the more the merrier, right? Well, thanks everyone for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.